guessed it, part four of the walk-in closet series. We're gonna make the cubbies today, which are just gonna sit right on top of the dressers we made in part three. So if you, if you haven't checked that out, like always, I'll link in the description. This one's gonna be really simple because it's just a whole bunch of boxes that, you know, kind of stack on top of each other and then get bolted to the dresser that's gonna give us our height and it's also gonna give us a spot to install a bar to hang all the clothes. So, because if you haven't seen enough table sawing already, we'll make it quick. Any safety glass. Now let's just get into it. Putting it together with You know, as I'm finishing up these cubbies, I'm getting ready for the final sand and I'm realizing that it might be a wise move to actually add the extension that goes on the top, a couple big cubbies that kind of go over where all the clothes will hang. I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to do that now and put those together now so I get them all level and get all the trim right, that kind of thing before I put them and actually install them in the closet itself. It's basically just, you know, two more of these on one side of each of these cabinets. So we'll knock that out. We'll finish it and then we'll install it in the closet and then next video maybe we'll show you the finishing touches and where to hang the clothes, things along those lines.
Is she looking? I don't know. Oh, come on, girl! <laughs> okay, so good news is it does come apart. My goal for this project was obviously to make a walk-in closet and a place for our clothes and things like that. I also wanted to use this as kind of a report or a test to mark my progress and kind of see how far I've come. I think it did a good job of that. Where we run into trouble is the fact that when I made this closet space, this actual room that we're in, was when I was a lot less experienced in the dead of winter, trying to get a bunch of projects done so we can move over to this side of the house. It's just not as square as it could be which in turn kind of made the cabinets a little bit crooked when we had to take them apart and set them up in here. But overall, I'm really happy with the look. I think the design will work out well. We have yet to put some clothes in there so we can't really test it yet, but overall, I'm happy. I think Allie's happy. I'm definitely happy. Good. If you haven't seen the previous steps, I will link those in the description as always. Make sure to check those out. Subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss anything. Remember to always trust your guide and we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,